pretty my legs. We oui, guys, everyone on their best behavior right now. Why now? I'm nervous. Because Hold on a second. Hello. I'm... We've got we've got some Bollywood royalty in in the studio right now. She's an actress. She's a former Miss Universe, and now we can call her officially an entrepreneur. Lara Dutta in studio. Lara Dutta. <laughs> Lara, you, Lara, Lara. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. Thank well, you for having me. Thank you so much for coming in. We've already got messages coming in, going, "Oh my gosh, Lara, I can't wait to hear on Virgin Radio. <laughs> this is super cute." Um, thank you so much for stopping by. We know you're super busy. That's great. Um, we've got a lot to talk to you about this. Uh, uh, this morning, are you cool to hang out for a little bit? Yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of questions. Uh, I know that you're doing skincare. Mm-hmm. But you don't think that I'm into skincare? I'm into skincare. <laughs> he's he's into got skincare. a routine. Uh, he's I, got a routine. See, I like men who yeah. take care of their skin. We got very to. important. See that? Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome to have you here. Very, very Thank cool. Um, I want to play the moment that really, obviously, kicked it off uh, initially. Have a listen to this, guys. If for any reason the winner cannot fulfill her duties, the first one up will take over. Tonight's first runner-up, Venezuela! And the new Miss Universe 2000 is India! Poor Venezuela. (laughs) You know, I swear to you, and I don't mean this in any bad way, but I remember when I entered Miss Universe, I went there saying, if I don't win... I don't mind coming third, but I don't want to come second. Agreed. Because you just, you don't even know who comes second, right? Agreed. (laughs) And and you're there the whole time. It's just the two of you on stage. The year, it was the year 2000 and you won Miss Universe. What, I mean, that is something that you obviously, you, every day, do you think of it? That would be something that would always just pop in your head. It's no, friend, random... it was 19 years ago. I mean, obviously, I thought about it every day. I woke up in the year 2000, but then after that, you kind of move really? on. Life happens. Okay. <laughs> what, really? what, what a moment. What a moment. That that would have that obviously incredible. just changed your life it was completely, incredible. right? It really was. I think for me, if anybody had to, had to ever ask me what was my one life-defining moment, it would definitely be that one. And yeah. this morning, right? Yeah. And yeah. This yes. Morning. <laughs> Look um, at my view. Look at my view. <laughs> Look at our view. Now, the, the coolest thing about Miss Universe was you've actually set a record. This is why this is important 19 years later yeah. you've set a record that has still not been broken in all yeah. of Miss Universe mm. which is getting a 9.99 score in wow. the interview portion sure yeah like, so I didn't know deal? I didn't know I was getting that score when I was participating obviously it was only after you won and then they put you know someone came and said to you oh my god you broke a record and I was like okay <laughs> I don't know so but I think it's exciting and I think I'd like to see someone come along now at least and 19 years later Why? and then break that they got to get a yeah. 10 yeah, There's no chance. They're never going to give you a 10. <laughs> At least tie. I believe yeah. a 9.99 is the highest score that you can get because yeah. there's, a, there's always that little room. So we've got a, we've got a, we've got yeah, the question here, so do you? I think, was it Sinbad? Who was it was it? Sinbad. It was Sinbad yeah. who was interviewing you. This is some yeah. of the interview right now. Have a listen. Oh, you're from a family of pilots. But say your goal is to, you know, you want to jump from a plane. <laughs> Are the pilots in your family that bad? <laughs> Um, well, not really. My father and my sister are both pilots, but I guess I've clocked in so many miles sitting behind flying as a passenger that I guess it's time that I jumped out. <laughs> That's something I've always wanted to do, skydive. All right. Now, India has had some very prominent female leaders. What makes women politicians different from men? I think what makes women politicians different from men is a certain amount of sensitivity. <laughs> Um, I think the women are very strong in India, they're very well educated, those who are educated, and um, they're standing shoulder to shoulder with their men and making a mark in their own field. Okay. Wow, what an answer. Do you have no idea what they're going to ask you? I have no idea. They don't I was a... 21 years old, dude. I had no idea what was going to come out of my mouth when I opened <laughs> it to give them an answer. Well, it oh. came out very well. <laughs> yeah. Very you well. You can see why you got that. Because whenever I watch like Miss Universe or anything like that, I always think to myself, I wonder if they're told the questions beforehand, but they have to pretend that they don't know what's no, happening. No, no. You have absolutely no idea what they're going to throw at you. So. Mm. That is so Nerve-wracking good. Nerve-wracking yeah, for a 21-year-old. So, and, and, and obviously uh, Indian, but you, what, what is the background? What, where, where, where is the family? from originally is everyone Indian or uh, no so primarily I am Indian yep. my dad is whole Indian he's been he's Punjabi and uh, my mum is a bit complicated so on my mum's side we don't have a family tree we have a family grove so there's uh, my maternal grandmother is half German half British my mm. grandfather's half Swedish half Scottish uh, yeah, there's a little there's bit a of lot. everything going on in there. <laughs> and, and home is Mumbai? Home is Mumbai. Beautiful place. Yeah, huh? I love it. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Chris. We are. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> if you ever get on YouTube, <laughs> um, there's a movie, it's called Dubai to Mumbai, starring Chris Fade. Yeah. Um, <laughs> really? 
I just want to let you know it's a blockbuster. <laughs> Why talk about the real movie that we were in? No, I wanted to see that one first. <laughs> okay. It's called Dubai to Mumbai. Yes, it's yeah. the trailer to no. what's coming. No, it's just oh, called no. Dubai to okay. Mumbai. <laughs> I shot it on my phone. Lovely. But it's really good. Yeah. There was a real movie that we yes. starred in as. Uh, I mean, we're, Ex- we were, we're yeah, extras, like little parts. Yeah. But I was the I was the first scene of the trailer. I had a speaking part. Rossi had a speaking speaking part. Yeah, as well. I actually wow. I actually got flown to Mumbai to be in the movie. It's a little known movie by the name of uh, Tiger Zindahe. I hope Ooh. I said that right. Good yeah. job, Rossi. I'm nice. proud of you. Yeah, we, we were in it. We we were in it. It was a pretty amazing experience. Yeah, wow. So cool. Ten we- seconds till strike, sir. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I played an Iraqi father that died. <laughs> How cool is that? I was a yeah, news reporter. Is, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, you know, oh, I my mean... God. I feel like such a you know, little nondescript <laughs> Bollywood star please, sitting here. Please. I'm mean, seriously. Well, we haven't got rings like you have on that finger. <laughs> that is massive. Yeah. So just talking about the movies, it, we were talking about it off the radio. It's it, it's so different. It's, it's not as easy as everyone thinks, right? No. I mean, like I said, it's the least glamorous part of what we do as movie stars. You know, everybody mm. sees uh, what's projected outside yeah. and, you know, the big cars, the big home. The lovely families, yeah. you know, the big movie posters, uh, but work is is hard work. It's tons of sitting around and waiting for a shot to happen. So tons true, tons of it. And there are days sometimes that you can go onto set and not do a single shot, but you know they want you there yeah. just in case your right shoulder is going to be visible, you know, in yeah. frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's what it is. Now, were you offered a role in The Matrix? I was. And you said no I to the was. Matrix? No, I was. I was actually living in New York at that time. It okay. was right after Miss Universe. And uh, the Matrix had come out. They were yeah. doing Matrix 2 and 3. Sure. And I went in and I did an audition. I had a call back. I went in and did a call back. Um, and then things got like the, the talks got pretty serious. But my mum got really sick uh, back home in India. She was diagnosed with cancer. So I went back to India. And I think that was my priority. 100%. So I said no to it. Yeah. Yep. And, and, no, and I don't regret it. I was going to yeah. say no regrets <laughs> no on regrets that. No regrets No all. regrets on that at all. Um, Lara Dutta is hanging out with us in studio. Hang out with us because uh, you've become an entrepreneur and that's what we're going to talk about yeah. next. I want to talk about the uh, the skincare brand that is dropping as we speak. Hang out with us. Former Miss Universe. That's cool. <laughs> it's Virgin Radio, the Chris Fate. I've got my own Miss Universe here in front of me pretty much. Oh, every, no. every, every please. morning. Oh, yeah. please. Virgin Radio.